Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a splendid day. So this video aims to reflect on our purpose for this unit. This unit investigates and explores the achievements of diverse ancient civilizations. So in other words, we're going to delve in depth in terms of the Sumerians, Mesopotamia, ancient Egypt, ancient Greece, and ancient Rome, all of which we're going to discuss the rise of a civilization, the decline of a civilization, and important achievements that contribute to our lifestyle today. Okay, so in other words, let me uh, restate it. We're going to explore what each civilization has done, and we're going to analyze uh, their skills and examine how their social structure and governance system imply and affect us today. What technological advancements did they come up with that have been advanced throughout time and innovative ideas come from pre-existing ideas that impact our lifestyle? In other words, I take a look at the wheel. For instance, originally, the first known wheel that was ever discovered went back to the Sumerian civilization, which is the first civilization known in history. So throughout this unit, we're going to focus on the key concept is change. So as we look at these innovative ideas and concepts, how did they change through time? And how has this change impact us drastically in the way we function? At the end of the day, we humans tend to find ways to enhance our productivity and reduce time wastage. Our related concepts include the following, significance, how are these, uh, let's say, discoveries significant to our time and space? How could we consider this innovative? So innovation is also, and revolution. How did it re revolutionize through time? Our global context highlights scientific and technical innovations, exploration, modernization, industrialization, and engineering. So this results to our statement of inquiry. Ancient civilizations have brought significant change and innovation that influence our modernized lifestyle. So we're going to look again at different, different, different changes that happen through time and how these changes keep on modernizing that impact our life today. <clears throat> Moreover, we're going to assess you on criterion A, knowing and understanding, and criterion D, thinking skills. So I'm just going to give a quick review on how we're going to establish this. For criterion A, there are certain things that we're going to reflect on, such as the definition of a civilization, or how did it uh, explain how a civilization is established, discuss the impact of the river, <clears throat> because most civilizations begin beside or near a river because water was essential for agriculture and to produce an irrigation system to increase plant growth. So you're going to use, as you've noticed, the way that I've answered this question, I use specific terminologies and vocabulary that reflect my knowledge and understanding. The second strand indicates that you're going to demonstrate knowledge and understanding of subject-specific content and concepts using descriptions, explanations, and examples. So, for instance, in this case, we might ask you to discuss the achievements of ancient Egypt. So, we expect you to use the terms that reflect the topic in question, the content within your answer should reflect ancient Egypt. So if we're going to talk about ancient Egypt, I must see achievements such as mummification. So give me a description. What is mummification? Explain how mummification happens and how has this been significant enough for us to understand the process that reflects perhaps knowledge in terms of the medical field. So this is in terms of criterion A, knowing and understanding. Now to reflect on criterion D, as you already know, we're highlighting thinking critically. So how to think outside of the box and analyze perhaps a situation, reflect your opinion, or evaluate a source. And this is exactly what you're going to do based on the following strands. So the first strand, you're going to identify the main points of ideas, events, visual representations, or arguments. So I might provide an image here. 
and ask you to reflect what does this image represent. I might get the Rosetta Stone and you'd have to indicate that this is the stone that was originally um, uh, found in ancient uh, Greece uh, and they've used this stone in order to decipher uh, ancient Egypt information the hieroglyphics. You're going to use your, the second strand is you're going to use your information to give an opinion. So perhaps you're, you're, you do not necessarily agree that our innovative ideas come from pre-existing ideas. I might tell you, okay, I will accept your perspective as long as you provide examples and explanation that, that back up your claim. Okay, the third strand is to identify and analyze a range of sources, data in terms, uh, in terms of origin and purpose. We've done this before, but we're going to elaborate more here in this unit. Um, we're going to look at diverse primary and secondary sources in terms of origin, and you're going to try to reflect where did this source come from? Perhaps it was from ancient Egypt, ancient Greece, ancient Rome. Um, a Sumerian civilization, Mesopotamia, and then you're going to reflect uh, if there's an author who wrote it, when was it published, when was it last updated, and so on. The purpose, on the other hand, must reflect whether this text is to inform, persuade, raise awareness, and if it is, what is it informing? What is it raising awareness on? What is it, what is it trying to persuade you to do? All right, for the, for the final strand, you're going to identify different views and their implications. So this here usually is mostly in the debatable question, where when you answer the debatable question, you must not only reflect your perspective, as we've taken this also in English, you must also indicate a counter argument that May that and enables the reader to view that you haven't been subjective in terms of answering the question and your objective. Which leads us to our ATLs. So in order to cover criterion A and criterion D, we're working on critical thinking. You're going to revise understanding based on new information and evidence. Where, uh, maybe throughout the unit, your understanding of innovation may change, modernization may change or not. Self-management, organizational skills, I've, as I've mentioned prior and during the entire year, your notebooks are very important. They reflect your organization, they reflect responsibility, they reflect how much you care about the discipline and you care about the subject in general. So please make sure your copybook is very neat and it will be assessed in terms of how you organize your perspectives and your ideas. I hope you're going to, to enjoy this unit as there are a lot of ways that we're going to integrate it. We're going to look at artwork. We're going to look at geography, how um, land and where they uh, establish a civilization impact us drastically. And it's going to be an entertaining and engaging unit because we're going to do multiple activities as you can see. And the resources online are very beneficial. Please do not forget to review always the unit use resources as it, as it may be beneficial if you would like to elaborate and explore more about diverse civilizations. Hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you soon.